I, uh, I'm at the weekly market in Bantry County Cork. It's on every Friday morning and it's some place I've always wanted to come and have a look. So I'm going to have a wander around and see can I get to talk to anyone. It's always, it always seems to be raining. Aye. It always seems to be raining. It's always raining here. What have you got under the covers? All stolen stuff. <laughs> Here's the best market in Ireland. Is it? Nicest people in Ireland. Why? They're just friendly. They're just, they were brought up with markets like. Their generations were brought up with markets. Oh, I see. So, when, they're, when they were children, they went to the markets with their parents, and as they grow up as adults, they still go to the markets. And it's kind of a Friday off for them. It's kind of a day out in the week to come to Bantry on a Friday. Oh, I see. And then what happens in other places they're not so used to it? Clarny would never have a market in Ireland because it's too high and mighty. They're up their arse so much. How do you know if someone's going to buy now or they're just mooching? I can tell by the look at them, the cut of them. Is they're rough man, and ready is, like is, me. Is this man going to buy? Oh, he'd, he'd, he'd buy away, yeah. Would he? He's got a pocket full of money, is he? Yes. I don't know about that, Pat. You can tell, you can tell, a, you can tell a buyer like. Can you? Yeah. You could. What's, I could. What do you mean the look? What do you mean by... You could tell by him. You can tell by him a, a proper Irish person like this. Do you know what I mean? Like, I could actually tell a person that's going to buy now like you know, like if a, if a person walks, I could nearly look at all them and there's none of them going to buy coming down there like. None of these people? No, 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 you can tell by looking at them like. Oh, they're just mooching, are they? Yeah, they're just walking on, they're, they're not going to buy like, do you know, like if you're looking around at a buyer now, your man there across the road and buy, coming down to me, he'd he be a buyer. Why would you say that? He's just your ordinary Irish man, do you know what I mean? He'd, be, he'd walk around the stalls and pick up something and he'd buy away like. What do you think of that one? Oh, I put your price is wrong. It's like a nappy fit. It's like the a, price, a, a, a price, a price. Fit the, <coughs> ah, the price is wrong. Ah, no, the price is good. Give me the, give me the green, please. You, yeah, but will he fit you? He will. I'll, I'll, one I'll, I'll do you four of these for a tenner. Give me, give me what we do. We do a five put for the, a tenner. Put your hand into that one. You hear me? We do five for a tenner. Come on, time's up. Uh, you realise there's a recession on over there. <laughs> I know. We're living through it every day of our lives. And do people ever buy just for the sake of buying? Do people oh, yeah. buy stuff they don't need? Because people would buy because they know you like. And they, they, they'd come to you every week. I had the fellas come to me every week and they just buy because they know me. And is it because they feel sorry for you that you're selling No, they, they don't. They just come and have a chat and they'll pick up something because they're so used to coming to you every week. Oh, I see. I had people every week that would come and buy just one item like. God. What do you think of them? They do me. Give me five of them. I'll give you four. And I'll throw you in a pair of the green ones for the five, right? One. What's the secret to seven? Personality. Is it? Be nice and kind to people. Right. And I always have a laugh and a joke. When at the end of the day, if you walk into a shop in the morning and you have a sour woman behind the counter, you're not going to come back to her. Right. So if you walk up to a happy, jolly person, you'll always stop off and have a chat with them. <laughs> Prices are good. So you've made a wealthy man of this man now, have you? With all your coming well, in every Friday. He's me Fair play to him. <laughs> he, uh, he's a, one of the best in America. Is he uh, why? Uh, because he has good stuff and he sells it right. And, uh, and then he tries to catch poor petals like me from time to time. Would you, you ever try and sell hard to anyone? Oh, you would. You'd have tough ones, by. Yeah. Oh, because they haggle, do they? Yeah, you'd have the real hungry one. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? What's the line? What do they say oh, to you? Oh, Christ, they just crack you up. Some of them, you, you could be down a half an hour with some of them, like. Right. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Are you doing it long? I know, I'm only about, about 55 years. <laughs> and what's it like doing with the country people? At the ground, it's better than the city people, like, you know, to, to take a bit of slagging, like, you know, where the, the city wants to be suing you, you know. <laughs> Here we have our own private toilet now, look. <laughs> you don't actually use that, do you? No. no. My father started this now. 
after the war. He was a pawnbroker. No, he was a bit of a waster. He was on the, reading cowboy books, you know. He didn't do much work, you know. He retired at 33. All right. And then you started doing it? Yeah. Oh. What do you like about it? Yeah, it's one of rarity, you know. Mm. Like a couple of shops that really couldn't stay in the shops, you know. Why? I just wouldn't be, wouldn't be able to say that. Would like for nothing about it? You know. uh, the same edition that that's a breadboard there. 1995. Two quid today. Do you live there in Dublin at the moment? No, I'm in Cork. I'm only a blow in, like, you know, oh. like, yeah, 50 years. Right. You know? And you haven't lost your accent or anything? No, you don't lose it because it comes in handy when you're fighting. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> Some nice pairs of boots, brand new boots. Five of them. How did you end up at Cork? What brought you south? Well, my uncle was working with me for and he used to be down here. And he had a wife and six kids, or seven kids. And he used to leave Dublin at six o'clock Monday morning and get home eleven o'clock Saturday night. And I wasn't having that right, you know. No. no. You, you can't be taught this. Can you? It's like it's, it's either you've got something in you or you don't. You, you haven't. It's, it all depends on how much hunger you have in life from what you want to do like. I heard you saying you were going to retire in three years' time. Yeah, I did that as well about ten years ago. Did you?